The Samsung Galaxy A70 is one of the new two additions to the A series, which has recently been getting some good love thanks to Samsung's new strategy of offering some of its premium features to the mainstream market combined with the competitive price. As for the phone's design, the A70 uses the same design language of the A50, a notch display plus a back panel that responds beautifully to light. Unfortunately, the glossy finish also makes it a smudge magnet but that's not a big deal as you'll most likely get a case for it anyway. Speaking of the back panel, you get the usual Samsung branding along with the triple camera module. There's no physical fingerprint sensor on this device because it's right under the display. Both of the volume rocker and power button are placed on the right side of the phone while the SIM card slot is on the left. Samsung was also generous enough to equip the A70 with a USB-C port, something that its closest competitors don't have. And for those who will ask, it doesn't have any certification for water and dust resistance, so no, don't take this for a swim. Moving forward, you get a 6.7-inch Super AMOLED Infinity U display with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. As expected, colors are very punchy and visibility in direct sunlight is also quite decent. Under the hood, you get a Snapdragon 675 octa-core processor along with a 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, expandable using a micro SD card. In our quick gaming review, the phone was able to handle PUBG Mobile at HDR Plus ultra frame rate setting with anti-aliasing turned on with no major issues. We didn't have our heat measuring tool at the time but the phone only got a bit warm at most during the test. The A70 has three rear shooters, one main, one for ultra-wide angle shots, and a third for adding that luscious depth of field effect to your photos. In broad daylight, the cameras manage to be very effective with sharp and detailed photos. Color accuracy is also spot on, but on the weak side, it tends to unnecessarily overexpose some sections of the image and there's also noticeable grain on darker areas. Samsung's scene optimizer does a decent job of enhancing shots, at least most of the time. It does, however, take some time for it to kick in in some instances. Using live focus, the A70 can also create beautiful bokeh shots, especially with its front camera. There's no sign of pixelation on the blurred areas and accuracy is on point. At night, the A70's cameras are a bit of hit and miss. At times, it tends to fail at controlling multiple light sources and then there are instances when it's skillfully able to tame them down. I guess the software still needs some work, but as for its overall quality, low light shots are more than satisfactory. There's a bit of noise buildup here and there, but the amount of detail it can capture is still pretty good for a mid-range device. The Galaxy A70 runs on Samsung's One UI, which runs very fluid and smooth. I do like the new theme, but if I had to nitpick on some things, then there could be things that could really be well improved. The camera app, for instance, has pro mode, but the controls are very limited. The way you toggle mirror selfies is an option that's found two menus deep, when in some devices, this option is immediately found on the camera settings. I could go on, I guess, but I'll save that for the full review when we finally have our unit. But the point is, Samsung's One UI looks great and it's fast, but ease of use could use some work, at least for now. Lastly, the Galaxy A70 has 4500mAh battery and is capable of 25W fast charging. We've yet to confirm if the retail box will come with a fast charger, but hopefully it does. Samsung is really stepping up its A-series smartphones, and the A70 is a perfect example of the brand's efforts to deliver more premium features, great performance, and very capable cameras to more consumers.